guys, it's me, Anna. I am going to attempt to go camping on my own. Yeah, as in, Evan's not coming with me. He's got an exam to revise for this weekend, so he's gonna spend all weekend studying his little heart out for that. I'm gonna go camping on my own with Bella. I think the hard bit is just gonna be loading up the car. I'm sweating, just thinking about that bit. And also, it's horrible outside right now. It's raining and it's predicted to thunder and lightning today. Excellent. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let's get going. Do you know what? Considering this is me going camping and I like to take lots of stuff, I don't think this is that bad. So you've got a dog crate for Bella, you've got a tent, a sleeping bag, that box has got all of Bella's bits in it, the mountain warehouse bag has got my shoes and coats in it, a couple of pillows, a chair, a sleeping mat, and then that bag, has the high-vis, beautiful high-vis bag has got my clothes, toiletries, kind of stuff in it. I don't think that's that bad. I really don't think that's a lot of stuff for one person and a dog. And I've got loads of room left in the car, but I'm forgetting one important thing. Bella! There we go, we're ready to go. Bella's in, I'm in, all our stuff is in. I hope. <laughs> so it's about a two and a half hour drive. Obviously I'm gonna stop on the way to let Bella out to the toilet. But as you can see, she looks pretty cozy in there. It's because that crate is massive. I had ordered like a travel size crate for the car that flattens and um, sorry, my glasses are steaming up. It's a little bit warm. Yeah, I'd ordered a travel size crate for her, but it hasn't arrived yet. So instead I'm stuck with this massive crate, which is just huge for her. She doesn't need all that space. But it is what it is. What do you think, Bella? Do you like it in there? Are you comfortable? Are you excited to go camping? Yay! Setting up your tent on your own in the rain. Not much fun. Look at the state of me. Like my hair, my clothes, like my clothes should be this colour. This is all wet. All wet. Soaking. I got here, it took three and a half hours to get here and then it was pouring down with rain. So I had to set my tent up in the rain. Then I took Bella for a walk and I was soaked. I didn't bring enough clothes for this. So currently my clothes are hanging on the tension system in the tent trying to dry out. Don't think that's gonna work though. Are you a wet dog? Yeah? Do you like being a wet dog? No. But it's up. Now I've got shelter. Bella's a wet dog as well. So I've just given her some food and water and put a towel in her crate and taken all her bedding out so that her bedding doesn't get wet for later. How long is it going to take for you to dry? Mmm. Yeah, so got here, set up the tent in the rain, took Bella for a walk, and then the night began. It was okay, so it was just me and Bella. It was raining, which drowned out quite a lot of the noises, because I think it, I would have been laying there scared. Every rustle, every little noise animal, I would have been petrified. And there was one animal that came right up to the tent, sniffing, and I could hear it walking in the grass. And I was like frozen still listening to every single noise and Bella was the same and she started growling and she doesn't normally growl. She was growling and barking. Well not like rah rah rah, just more like a rah, rah. And the animal went away. But yeah, got this whole field to myself which is lovely. The bugs here. I think it's quite a wet, long grass field, so there are a lot of bugs, like, gathering in the top of my tent. I don't know, maybe it's because it's a green tent, a lot of people with green tents have this issue. I've just attacked them with 
what's it called? Raid, fly and wasp killer. Unorthodox, probably gonna gas myself out in the process, but I had to get rid of them. Yeah, so when I said I was camping on my own, not quite on my own. My mum's in the caravan there with my stepdad. Um, my auntie is in the caravan next door. So I might have been exaggerating a little bit, literally 20 yards away. But I did have to spend the night on my own in a field. My mum gave me a panic alarm, bless her, let me show you. Pretty snazzy. Basically she's here a lot on her own camping because she's renovating a chapel nearby. So in the week she comes and stays in the caravan so she can go and keep an eye on the chapel. Um, and she has this in case something happens to her because she's usually here alone. Pull out the, pull out the black cord and this thing is gonna let everybody know I'm in trouble. And it's got a flashlight on it as well. Press this button, flashlight, blind them. Go away attackers. Stay back, I've got a panic alarm. <laughs> oh no, it's cute there. And actually, when that animal came last night, I was like, I might have to set my alarm off, because I think it's probably a bunny rabbit, but I didn't know that. It could have been an alien coming. So, yeah. Thanks, Mum. So, yeah. Cats outside. I'm not actually camping on my own. I'm with my mum, my stepdad, my auntie, my uncle. Two dogs, Otto and Mushy, and my dog Bella. I wanted to come because I wanted to um, introduce Bella to my auntie's dog, Mushy, because they're both small little black dogs to see how they got on. And actually, my auntie's taking the dog out for a walk now, taking both dogs for a walk, which is very brave because Bella is eight months old and her dog Mushy is eight years old so a little bit of an energy difference there. I'm gonna take the opportunity to go for a nap. Nap's over. All right we'll have fish and chips we'll go play some board games in the caravan and then I'll go to bed again in the field see what nighttime visitors we get this time. I'm out in the field with Bella, waiting for her to go for a poo. It's very dark and scary. Good night.